My name is Olivier Deschuter. I've been for six years the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Right to Food, and I now co-chair the International Panel of Experts on Sustainable Food Systems, a group of experts that works to support this agroecological transition. Agroecology um, really is about replacing an energy and input intensive type of farming with a knowledge intensive type of farming. A type of farming that understands how nature works and tries to replicate at the level of the field, at the level of the farm, the natural complementarities between different plants, between plants and trees, between animals, plants and trees. Agroecology is a range of agronomic techniques, all of which result in farming being um, cheaper, more knowledge intensive, but less input intensive, and based on our recognition that nature is complex and that we must work with nature, taking nature as an ally, rather than try to reduce and simplify nature, domesticate it as if it were an enemy. For example, agroecology means using forms of biological control, um, using mixed cropping systems in order to protect crops from insects uh, invading uh, plant species. It means that instead of using um, chemical-based, uh, nitrogen-based fertilizers that are extremely energy intensive to produce, um, using uh, leguminous plants or fertilizing trees in order to um, reduce the need for chemical fertilizers. It means using um, agroforestry schemes in order to allow the soil to better capture humidity and thus reducing the need for energy intensive irrigation systems. So agroecology is a range of agronomic techniques that um, allow us to better work with nature and develop much more resource efficient ways of producing food. Now of course agroecology primarily has environmental benefits, restoring the health and the biodiversity of the soils in order to allow the soils to function as carbon sinks whereas soils in industrial agriculture, as they have been maintained um, since the 1920s in rich countries and since the 1960s in many developing regions, have become net emitters of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide in particular, um, they should um, rebuild their ability to store um, um, organic carbon and thus function as they should as carbon sinks. That was the um, spirit behind the initiative launched by Minister Stéphane de Foll at COP21, the initiative known as 4 for 1000 to restore the carbon content of soils. Um, beyond these environmental benefits of agroecology, however, agroecology has two major other benefits to provide. First of all, it contributes to better nutrition because it supports diversity in farming systems. It also supports greater diversity in diets. Diets, therefore, that shall be relying on a, a larger range of micronutrients. Um, and secondly, agroecology is better for rural development and for the reduction of rural poverty. Indeed, it is best practiced on a small scale by small scale farmers, and it is a an affordable way of practicing farming because essentially it relies on agronomic techniques that um, reduce the dependency of farmers on external inputs, allow the farmers to work with nature by um, uh, using their knowledge that is very contextual um, uh, in order to produce um, food with the resources at their disposal. And it is a type of farming that is particularly well suited for small farmers in the developing world, who therefore can reduce the cost of farming and um, can um, make a better income from their work. And so agroecology has tremendous environmental benefits to provide, but it also has nutrition benefits and it has benefits for the reduction of rural poverty. This is why behind agroecology there is now a very large social movement that is uniting. One of the clearest manifestations of the um, growing interest for agroecology is the fact that um, 
on uh, 28th of September, the Human Rights Council, followed on 19th of November by the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations, have adopted the Declaration on the Rights of Peasants and Other People Working in Rural Areas. And this Declaration on the Rights of Peasants emphasizes the need to move towards food sovereignty, the need to, mer to, to move towards agroecology. I believe agroecology, far from being a return to the past, as sometimes portrayed by um, some of its adversaries, is really the kind of science we need for the 21st century. Prioritizing resource efficiency, prioritizing resilience vis-à-vis um, -vis climate changes, and prioritizing the ability for the soils to be restored and to function as carbon sinks for the future. Mm -hmm.